What's up guys? I've got some good news and some bad news for GPU mining. The bad news is that my farm, all of my rigs have been off for about the last three days because profitability has been so bad, it's no longer profitable for me to mine. But the good news is that there's a new GPU mineable coin that came out today, Quay. So we're gonna take a look at how to mine Quay. Is it profitable? Can I turn my farm back on? Another reason I had it turned off is that it was pretty hot the last few days, so I didn't need the heat but it is cold again. So I would like to get this turned on. And the good news is, or the bad news, depending on how you look at it, is Quay uses the ProgPow algorithm. So it's gonna use a lot of heat. So let's take a look at the farm real quick. And then we'll get into how to mine Quay to the Hero Miners pool on HiveOS. Today's video is brought to you by Crypto Miner Bros. 2025 is going to be an electric year for crypto mining. Right now might be the last time to get a good deal on ASIC miners before the prices start to rise. Crypto Miner Bros has all the most profitable ASICs from the most popular brands, including Jazz Miner, Ice River, Bitmain. The price you see is the final price you pay. No hidden fees or customs, which is super nice. Use code MODERN to get $70 off every item in your cart, regardless of price. I'll leave links down below to my favorite miners and with that let's get back into it. So I gotta say this is about the quietest it's been in this garage in what is it over a year at this point. Let you guys just listen to that silence for a second. It's uh, definitely not ideal. So we're only pulling 600 watts on the circuit and that is from our DG Home One, basically one of the only profitable miners that I still have right now. But hopefully Quay is gonna make it so we can turn some of these rigs back on. Now, obviously, if we're gonna learn how to mine this thing, we gotta turn one of these on. So let's try this guy right here and see uh, if after a few days holiday, if it still runs just fine. Hopefully so. And uh, if Quay is profitable, then I may end up turning all of these on. Though I need to do some power measurements with 36 cards on ProgPow. Am I over the 5,700 watt limit of that circuit? I don't think so, um, but that's something I'll definitely need to check. All right, let's get into how to mine this thing. All right, so what the heck is Quay? So Quay is a brand new GPU mineable coin. It's not just like a fork of some other project. This is a project that was totally built from scratch. Checking out the website here, it's just qu.ai, and they've got a pretty crazy little uh, website here, it looks like. So I'm just scrolling down the page here, and it's talking about uh, kind of what their project's all about. To be honest, I don't have a ton of idea on it, but um, I do know that Mine Some Tin, who's definitely a lot more into the projects themselves and does a lot of developer uh, interviews and stuff like that, he's been pretty excited for the Quay project, so that's always a good sign. So I encourage you guys come check out their site and give it a look. But in the meantime, let's figure out how to mine this beast. So the good news is that my rig booted up just fine. Um, 12 cards, mining Zealous currently. So we are going to be switching this over to Quay. Now there's a couple things that we need to do. Um, we need to use Hero Miners Pool to set it up, but we also need to set up a wallet and we also need to update our HiveOS version to the latest Regal Miner. So let's do that first. If I go into my gamble rig here, first thing you guys wanna do is go in here and update to the latest version. This is going to give you support for Quay on Regal Miner, which is super nice because we don't need to manually post in the Regal Miner command. We can just update it from the HiveOS interface. And there we can see we have upgraded successfully. So now we can go ahead and try to set up mining Quay. What we need to do now is to figure out which wallets we wanna to mine to because we need to set up our flight sheet here. And we'll go into flight sheets here. And then we need to set one up for this new coin Quay. And do we see it in here? We do. So that is a good sign that our update at least went through. So now we need to add a wallet and I need to figure out which exchange you can mine this coin on. So generally I would go into hash rate NO here and select on a coin and it's gonna show you what exchanges and markets it's on. Um, but in this case, Quay is not actually even listed on here yet. So I need to figure out a way to do this. Also, I'm just looking straight at their site here and I don't see just an easy place where they give their wallets. Um, so that's definitely something that could be improved on is where can I find a wallet? All right, after fidgeting around with the website, I did find where you can go to this install Pelagus and Pelagus looks to be the first web wallet for Quay. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for this real quick. 
and it appears to be a Chrome web wallet, similar to like MetaMask. So once you have it downloaded, you're gonna go to create new wallet, and then you wanna use a secure password. Make sure this is not something you've ever used before. Make it basically totally random. So write down that password, and then it's going to give you a recovery phrase, and you're gonna to wanna to write that down as well. Okay, I've got my information wrote down, and I would honestly write two copies of this and store one maybe at your parents' house or someone that you totally trust, just in case something ever happened at your house, tornado or something crazy, that you're not gonna lose all your crypto just pile on top of that. So if you go into your browser extensions, then you can pull it up right here and you have your Quay web wallet. So I want to receive. So one thing to make sure it was set on golden age testnet here, make sure you set it to the real network um, because the testnet is over. This is the real deal now. So from here, you can go to receive and copy your address right here. And let's go back into Hive OS finally. We'll go back here and create our flight seat. So Quay is the coin wallet. We're gonna add our new wallet, put in our address, and then this is the Pelagus Quay wallet. And I'll always like to save it as a global wallet and hit create. For the pool, we're gonna use Hero Miners, which is also the sponsor of this video. I'm not sure why they're not showing up in this list, but that's fine. We can go to configure and miner, and then we wanna select Regal Miner right here. So from here, we'll go up to set up minor config. And there's a couple things we need to figure out here. So if we go to quay.herominers.com, this is where we can figure out all our info to start mining to hero miners. What I like that hero miners just added is if you go to start right here, they have a couple pretty nice features here. So the first big difference that is brand new is they just added a latency indicator here. So you can find exactly which server is best for you and mine is the USA West because I'm only getting 45 milliseconds ping, which is surprising because I generally would have selected US East, but apparently the US West server has better ping for me, so that's the one I'm gonna use. So that's hilarious because that means I've been using the wrong server the whole time I've been using Hero Miners. The other cool feature that they added on here, which I think is pretty neat, is this bypassing mining restriction. So this has given me some ideas that uh, I wanna run past you guys. So. What this is allowing you to do is if you live in mainland China or basically other areas where your ISP or your internet service provider is gonna block mining, you can actually change the server that you're mining to using this GFW route. So for example, if you were mining to the US server, you can replace this with us.quay.gfw route and this is going to allow you to mine in areas that have mining restrictions like mainland China. Now, I don't think from my analytics, I have a lot of mainland China viewers, but I definitely do have some in other areas that maybe you're not allowed to mine on. So definitely test this out. One thing to note is that it only supports TCP connections, um, but something to think about. And what I was thinking about this, which I'm not gonna do, but like I wonder if this would allow you to run a little KS0 Ultra or something at work. Um, I know where I work, there's a lot of ladies who have like, uh, little heaters under their desk. Maybe I could stick a little KS0 Ultra under there instead and get some money with the free power from the company. Now, I don't know if that's gonna work and I know it definitely won't work using the Hero Miners address, but maybe it works on the GFW route. Somebody test that uh, at their work and let me know how it goes, just don't get fired. But so let's go ahead and put that into our pool URL right here. And then we need to grab our port as well. So we'll just stick that at the end here, dot, dot, and then put in our port. Okay, so we've got the pool done for the wallet template. We just wanna add wallet, worker name. We wanna add worker name. And then this is where we need to put our Regal Miner overclocks for ProgPow. If you guys don't know, ProgPow is a very power hungry algorithm. It's basically a lot like Kapow. It's gonna be pulling about 150 watts per 3060 Ti and 3070. So if your rigs aren't spec to be able to handle that power, maybe don't mine this coin or at least be safe when you're doing it. Make sure your rigs are up to spec. So I'm not super familiar with the overclock settings for ProgPow, but I do know that Xano uses ProgPow. So if we search Xano on Hashrate NO, we should be able to get overclock settings here. And yeah, we can see that it's saying core clock offset of 200 megahertz and then a memory offset of 2000 and then set a power limit. All right, and that's what these settings are gonna look like. Dash dash M clock 2000, dash dash core clock 200 and dash dash power limit 150. Quick advisor here, if you're having rig crashes, 2000 might be too big of a memory uh, offset, so you might need to lower that down. It really depends on the silicon lottery of your GPUs themselves. 
So if you have worse cards, they're probably not going to be able to overclock all the way up to 2,000. I know some are all the way down at like 1,200 or even less if you get really unlucky. So maybe start at 2,000. If you see crashes, lower it down. And don't forget that you can always overclock different values for different cards by using commas. So in this case, I would have the first three cards at 2,000 and the fourth card at 1,500. So don't forget, you can always do it like that to maximize efficiency if you only have one bad card. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. That should be good to go. And we'll name our flight sheet Quay Hero Miners. And let's go ahead and hit Create and apply this and see if we have any issues. So we'll go back to our rig here, Flight Sheet, and go ahead and apply our new Quay Flight Sheet. Fingers crossed it works without issue. All right, and just like that, we can see that it does say progpow slash quay on there. Now, a few things I wanna double check right as it gets started is what is our wattage? I definitely wanna make sure that our power limits are working and we're not pulling like 200 watts per card. I also wanna make sure that my UI overclocks are not applying. So I have Aleo overclocks in the UI, but in the flight sheet, I have the progpow overclock. So we need to determine which ones are applying. And I can tell you right now, that the ones that are applying are the UI ones because we should be closer to 30 and 150 watts. So let's go ahead and stop the miner here. And if I go into the overclock all here, I'm just gonna delete all of these out. And honestly, just I'll just go ahead and set them here as well. So core clock offset was 200, memory clock offset was 2000, power limit was 150. So now they're set in both the UI and in the flight sheet. So at least one of them is gonna get set. I don't normally do this, but on high powered coins, I sometimes get scared that my rig is gonna restart and overclocks not apply and I'm gonna burn it up. Um, so this is gonna basically put them in both spots and hopefully ensure that never happens. But certainly something that you don't need to do. All right, so now that those settings have applied, we will go ahead and start the miner again and see if we're getting closer to that 30 mega hash mark. Um, and if we go back to hash rate NO, we can see on Xano that we should be getting about 30 mega hash at 150 watts. And since both of these coins are prog pow, that's what we can expect on this one as well. Now we're gonna check after this and see what our profitability looks like. So right there, my rig just straight up went straight offline once I actually applied these overclock settings. So unfortunately, I think I need to just drop this down to 1800 because obviously one card on it crashed the whole system. Now HiveOS is also having some weird lagginess going on right now, something with their server, so that could be it. But I'm gonna switch that to 1800 on both and run downstairs and make sure this rig is gonna automatically restart. Maybe make sure nothing blew up either since we're using a little bit higher of an algorithm. All right, so after fiddling with it for about uh, 15 minutes, went ahead and grabbed a sandwich in the meantime. I finally got this up and running. Um, we're getting about 30 mega hash per card at 150 watts, which is what is expected. You can see our fan speeds are about at 100%. That should hopefully drop because our temperatures don't look that crazy. HiveOS is having a ton of issues right now, guys. Uh, you can see how slow it's being, so that's making this a little bit harder. But let's go ahead and go into Hero Miners and see if we can see our stats at this point. So if we go back to the home page and we scroll down, we can put our payment address in here and we should hopefully see our worker popped up. And if we do, we can see that a last share was submitted less than a minute ago, so that is working. This dang HiveOS is making me angry. Um, here we go, okay. Let's make sure everything still looks okay. So 150 watts a card, we'll go down shortly and check what the total wattage is. Quick clip interjected here to show you guys what the power and sound is like. So the power, we're at 2,600 watts. So basically this rig alone is pulling 2,000 watts. So to answer my own question, no, I cannot turn on all three of these rigs on the prog power because that would be 6,000 watts. It's also gonna be pushing your power supplies a lot harder. My server PSUs are definitely whining more than normal, but overall it appears to be working good. So the other nice thing about Hero Miners is it has this estimate mining profits right here. So if you take our hash rate of 356 and we stick that in there, it's gonna tell us that we should be getting about 40 quay per day, 280 a week and 1200 per month. So I don't really know what quay is worth. I can't find it on an exchange right now. It may be on one and if it is, definitely let me know down below. One key thing to note guys is that 
For the first 14 days, all the rewards are somewhat locked. So you will not get paid out for the first 14 days. I think what I'm probably gonna do because we have some colder temperatures coming up is just run this one rig for now for about the next week or two and see how much quay I can get. And hopefully the coin pumps big time and I can make some decent money in that time frame. So I don't know if it's gonna be profitable or not since I don't know where to find it on exchange to get its price. It's hard to make that calculation, but at least for right now, it's another coin that we can GPU mine that hopefully adds a significant amount of emissions. And hey, maybe Quay will be the birth of another few months of GPU mining profits. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning how to mine other coins, I'll put my Flux video up here as well. Thanks to Hero Miners for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you guys next time.